Hey guys, so welcome to today's episode. So today I want to tell you a short story about a man called Michael. Michael was a middle-aged executive. He had a good job and a perfectly adequate home, but he was deeply unsatisfied because his real lifelong passion had always been to work in the movies, writing film scripts. So Michael had a lot of great ideas for these different scripts and he'd even started writing out some of them, actually one in particular, just in the odd hours at night when he could. But with a couple of young kids and things getting more and more demanding at work, there was just never enough time to finish. He'd tell himself that when the kids got old enough to leave home and go and get jobs, then he would focus on finishing that first script. When that day finally came, Michael was busier at work than ever. He was now promoted to a senior role in the company. He had a bigger responsibility. So he decided to wait until he retired, which was only a few more years away. Now that day came around faster than he thought. He was now retired and he was now free to spend his time however he liked. But feeling exhausted from all the years of work, he decided to take one year off with his wife and travel the world. The script would get done when he returned home. Once he finally did return home, he decided to take another six months to settle into his newly retired lifestyle at home. And then he would finish the script. When that day came, weeks turned into months and months turned into even more years. And he always just seemed to be busy doing something like fixing broken things around the home, restoring an old car. There was always something. When asked about the film script, he would respond with, when I have some more time, then I'll get to it. But as he got older, he was spending more and more time in front of the TV, and it finally dawned on him that even though he had far more available time now to work on this script, he was actually getting less of it done than when he actually had a young family and a full-time career. Long story short, he never did get that script done. The end. So isn't that often how the story goes? We have the best of intentions to get things done when we are less busy and have more time sometime in the future. Now, if you're someone who's always busy, you might even look at those who seem to have a slower paced lifestyle than you and just all the time in the world, you might look at them with disdain and sometimes even resentment because they seem to waste all that extra time that you wish you had. The truth is not getting things done is rarely about a lack of time. It's mostly about priorities. And that's where Hofstadter's law enters the picture. It always takes longer than you expect, even when you take into account Hofstadter's law. When I first saw this on a poster back in high school, even then it struck me as being very true. My assignments back then, they would always take longer to get done than I thought. And even in the rare case where I started working on them early, to avoid my usual strategy of getting it all done the night before, I would always still end up doing them last minute. So if the assignment was due in two weeks, sometimes I'd say to myself, this time's gonna be different. This time, I'm not gonna leave it to the last minute. I'm going to allocate, say, 10 hours to it, and I'm gonna do one hour of work each night leading up to it, and then that way, I'll have it all done before the due date, without fail every single time. Even when I started working on the project early, it ended up being a rush job the night before. No matter how much time I allocated to these assignments, if I did have any extra spare time available, the spare time would always get filled up with something. And because it wasn't due for a couple weeks, it wasn't my top priority. There would always be more time later to work on it. So here's the lesson of Hofstadter's law. The time to get something done, it's always gonna take the amount of time that you allocate to it. So even though I tell myself that I would spend just 10 hours working on the assignment, in reality, I knew there was a lot more available time to get it done. So I'd spend the 10 hours working on it, trying to make it really perfect, but then I'd still need even more time to finish it. So it always ended up taking me right to the deadline the night before. So whatever amount of time you actually have to get a job done, the job will usually fill up that space perfectly. It's kind of like pouring water into an empty vase, the way it just fills the space perfectly. The reason why you're so much more efficient with your work when there's a looming deadline is because the void of space, the amount of time, it is genuinely limited. You can't fool yourself or trick yourself anymore 
Like I used to fool myself saying that I only had 10 hours to get the assignment done, knowing that if I wanted to, or if I needed to, I could take 20 hours. When we get things done, it's rarely because we suddenly find ourselves less busy. It's because we put it ahead of everything else that we needed to get done, we made it a priority, and we put a hard stop on the amount of time that we devoted to it. So let me give you an example. Last week, I was really busy helping to film a Strive course. And we start usually around 8 a.m. if we can. We'll go through, in this case, to about 3.30 p.m. So it's about 7.5 hours of my day, which was no longer available. So I ended up finishing all my other routine tasks, like writing a blog post, sending an email to my list, and all the other work I do daily at about 10 p.m. that night. The very next day, with no course to film, I had an extra 7.5 hours available to do the same amount of work. But I found myself still at my desk at 10 p.m. that night, writing out the script for this video. So there was still barely enough time in my day to get everything done. The reason is simple. Work tends to fill up the amount of space that you allocate to it. I'm always reminded of this during those long, busy days where there's a lot of extra work to get done like one of these course filming days. I'm racing against the deadline to fit everything in, and somehow I get more done in that day than I usually do in, say, three days. And I always feel the same way afterwards. I always say to myself, if only, if only every day could be as productive as this day. Now, I'm not sure who said it, but it's very true. If you wanna get something done, ask a busy person. And if you wanna be more productive, you need to have less spare time. Spare time is a black hole for productivity. So find ways to give yourself real-time constraints on each task so that the work that you're doing can't just fill up available time. And that way you're going to accomplish so, so much more. Now, if you like this kind of training, there's a lot more of it in your Strive back office. If you go to strivecourses.com, you can learn about all the different online courses that we have. But one of the key topics is productivity and getting more things done in less time for your career. So check out strivecourses.com and you'll find there's a lot of great training programs that will really help you become more productive. That's it from me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you tomorrow.